my religion, my faith, not just a religious thing, based on culture and history. What kind of person misunderstands Judaism so much that they call synagogues and tell some little lies? I don't care just makes them ignorant like the police officer at West Midland Bilson Street I've spent one hundred and six Having to defend my sanity and my faith A whole mental illness created by Facebook What a farce To be honest, I think someone called Cat talks out her arms. Anti-Semitism doesn't mean saying nasty things. It can also mean misunderstanding things. And I don't think anybody understands Outside Jewish law, but probably not so, seeing as I'm a rhesus neck. My bloodline is as can as in. I'm sure even my name seems a mad thing. Everyone keeps saying it's Russian or something, I don't know. I shall explain my name for you. Walter and Nicolin So even if you're not a genius You can understand where Valtari Nikolaj came from Valtari is the original old high German spelling of Walter Doesn't matter if enemies or even police who aren't medically trained say I'm mad. My intellectual thoughts tell me these people are bad. You can't tell a man or a woman. Get 
delight What is it to anyone? What's in my heart? What's it got to do with a rabbi in Dudley? To be 
honest, I can say the same thing about him. I'm not impressed. <clears throat> when questioned for malicious communication, It's good that they have all the information And not bring religion into it or ethnicity Put it this way My bloodline Is not a common one I'm sorry my mother is estranged from me and hasn't got a clue about family history. She denies she's German, but she's called Greta. Maybe it would be more obvious if she shared her great-grandmother's name She'd be called Greta Walter And then she'd know the blame She is had enough case in my eyes Because she really, really denies Bottled my father over the head and many other things to me. It's plain to see. The police shouldn't really be listening to this woman. Or someone who's been stalking me since the 17th of February. And rings rabbis up in Dudley after hacking into my Gmail. This is the end, and I'm not impressed. But at least I know how a rabbi is to be addressed. Shalom Aleichem. Goodbye to you all.